released April 10th, 2018 by developer and publisher Wales Interactive, Time Carnage on the PS4 is a first-person wave shooter that's more fun than it has any right to be. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. After playing Gunjack, I realized that these stand-in-place VR wave shooters can equate some of the best times in VR. Free roaming, deep stories, complicated controls are all good and well, but sometimes, lots of times actually, all I want is this. Now don't get me wrong, there is strategy required here, mainly because of Time Carnage's mechanic, or gimmick if you will. I'll get to that in a minute, but first, let's talk visuals. Time Carnage being the early PSVR release that it is, the visuals will seem a bit rough, janky even. This is one of the most blurry and poorly optimized VR games I've played so far on PSVR. It doesn't look god awful, but the textures are pretty blurry and could use some help in the anti-aliasing department. I also had some frame rate issues as well. There were times when I turned and the game would glitch for a second. But none of this really detracted from the experience. The gun models and your hands, and that platform you stand on, are fairly well detailed though, so it's not a complete wash on the visuals. The audio. I'd say it gets about a 6 out of 10. While the score is fine and fitting, the sound effects were questionable. The footsteps of approaching enemies kind of sound like someone tapping their fingers on a wooden desk. And the weapons could use a bit more pep in their steps. Also, the sounds of each creature when they get hit. There could be a bit more variety where that's concerned. The gameplay, my favorite aspect, and Time Carnage's saving grace. With below par audio and visuals, you may be wondering, why am I even reviewing this game? Why bother to kick the ass of a nearly three-year-old game? Well, that's the thing. The only ass that got kicked here was that of my expectations. I pretty much knew what I was getting into when I caught this. I knew it was a risky roll of the dice. Games like these are extremely hit or miss. There's never usually a middle ground to stand on. I just grabbed Wraith on a relatively deep sale today, and although I've only spent like five minutes with it, I can say this much. It's not looking too good. So I pretty much had my fingers crossed with this one, coupled with low expectations, but it did not disappoint. The premise of the gameplay goes like this. You enter a level with the option to take four guns with you. As you progress through the waves, you'll unlock more weapons. And I'll just get this out of the way right now. These guns are extremely satisfying. Once the level starts up, the gimmick is you'll need to strategize. Actually, you'll need to begin strategizing before you enter a level. You'd best choose the right firepower for the job. This isn't one of those games that gives you dozens of guns that mostly feel the same. Much thought was put into the artillery. While some guns are similar, none are the same. You'll need to think about ammo capacity, stopping power, range, are you good with sniper rifles in VR, and most of all, reload speeds. Once you've decided on your loadout, it's time to turn a theory into practical use. On the battlefield, you'll need to work out, based on the enemies charging towards you, which gun will suit you best. And reloading is also a part of this cool gimmick. You reload your guns by letting them go. Once released, they return to their respective docks and begin reloading automatically. So you need to be working out which guns to use when, while always having a couple reloading. This simple yet brilliant gameplay mechanic is what makes Time Carnage fun. If it doesn't sound fun, I can empathize. I watched a couple reviews for this game and when the reviewer pointed out this mechanic, I wasn't impressed. But put into practice, it's a different ball game. It works and it works well. Constantly swapping your weapons as various kinds of enemies barrel towards you, deciding on the fly which guns would suit which situation best, keeps the adrenaline flowing. And as cool as this may sound, multiply it by 10 in VR. Then, and only then, will you truly get what I'm saying. Or you could simply just go out and buy the game, I guess. You're not restricted to what guns you can use when. 
You can choose any four in any order and you can dual wield these bad boys as you see fit. The laser rifle, sawed off shotgun, grenade launcher and a burst shotgun were my drugs of choice. Detected. As you progress, you not only unlock new weapons, but you also unlock perks. These perks, while incredibly useful and adds an overpowered feel to the game, can only be used in the arcade and challenge mode, not in the actual campaign, not sure why. Maybe that would have made the campaign too easy. Time jump complete. On that note, the difficulty level was created with completion in mind. Even on the highest difficulty, time carnage is still a breeze. Actually, the only real difference I saw with the difficulty options were checkpoints. You get more, the easier the difficulty. And that's another thing, this game has checkpoints. And because I abhor doing certain things over, this works fine and dandy for me. There seems to be only one special move, a time paradox, where you're able to slow time down, Matrix style. I would have loved some creative additions to the power-ups though, you know? A little something to keep things exciting. I was able to find an exploit. This has to be a glitch. If you shoot the time paradox light right at the start of a new level, when it's about to vanish, as they do remain on screen throughout a level if not used, but will gradually fade away at the start of a new one, I found out through experimenting really, that if you shoot at it at the start of a new wave, right before it vanishes, the rest of the stage, every level in that stage, will be in slow motion. This feels like a glitch that could work to your advantage should the odds become overwhelming. I'd take a few more useful special moves over that any day though. Time Carnage is a basic game, but a basic game done well. It doesn't take much for gamers at any level to get into this. But with basic comes caveats. One being repetition. You do the same thing, defend yourself against an oncoming brain dead horde of either zombies, robots, dinosaurs or a few others. But the good thing is, this game is balanced. It doesn't overstay its welcome with crushing difficulties and never ending gameplay. I mean, there is great replay value here though should you choose to play it forever, but Time Carnage wraps up nicely for those who don't, so the repetition and basic mechanics are never given enough time to get old. There's really no story here, just some generic info thrown at you as a setup, and that's fine. If there was a story with flashy or not so flashy cutscenes, I suspect that would have taken away from the arcade style presentation and I would not have paid much attention to it anyway. Action is king here, and Wales Interactive did not drop the ball. Time jump complete. With no real focus on a story, the goofy ending was expected and I had no problems with it. This one zombie dancing his ass off seems real happy for me. Kinda reminds me of Empress Nile when she's doing a Fortnite dance. So, the game lags sometimes. Sometimes I select a weapon and it does not fire on the first trigger pull. I experienced several tracking issues and a few bugs where objects remained on screen way longer than they should. That coupled with the mediocre visuals and sound are pretty much the worst parts of Time Carnage. But none of that takes away from this being one excellent arcade wave shooter. Time Carnage gets a passing mark from me. I fully recommend this one and would advise you to check it out in VR as soon as you're able. There's a time for the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners level of immersion, and then there's a time for this. Will's Interactive, job well done. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you're feeling real generous, then why not check out the Patreon link in the description box below and help this minuscule channel amount to something. Say I pissed you off though. This is 2020 after all, and the cancel culture seems to be the new normal and in full effect, so why not hit the dislike and on sub buttons and forget I ever mentioned that whole Patreon thing. <laughs> Either way, I will not hold it against you. Our game is never over. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave.